What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today guys I just want to cover a little bit of news that dropped last night. I mean I would have covered it last night but I was a little busy doing other things real life matters so I didn't get around to actually doing it. So I thought I'd do it for you guys today. As for the people who haven't read through it yet, this video is just for you. It basically talks about the heroic mode of the menagerie and what this will offer and how it's going to be crazy hard people but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really does help out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so on june 25th which is this coming tuesday we get the heroic mode of the menagerie now we all thought it was going to be a little bit difficult we thought it was going to be a little bit harder than the standard version that is basically expected but if you haven't seen actual requirements for this thing well, you're probably in for a shock, especially for those of you guys who play solo or play in small teams as of I do. So let's get into it. Challenge fit for a guardian. Season of opulence is full steam ahead. You've scored the depths of the menagerie, begun your quest for the truth and taken a crown of sorrow. Our next step on the roadmap begins June 25th with menagerie heroic mode. So let's dig in. In, so what does Kallus have lined up for our most powerful guardians? Increased power difficulty starts at 750 and it increases people to 770. Matchmaking is disabled, you must form a fire team to enter. Weekly curated gameplay modifiers, rotating per boss. Unlike normal mode, guardians can hit a failure state. Extinguish is active. If your team wipes, Callus will send you back to orbit. Encounters never repeat. If you fail to reach 100% progress towards the boss after completing each encounter once, you'll be returned to orbit. Heroic mode specific triumphs, rewards and challenges await you. Bungie then going to state though, we'll be there watching. This won't be a race. We're excited to see how players customize their experience with various challenges to show off their skill. Can you defeat heroic mode with fewer than six players? Maybe with specific loadouts? Only time will tell. Okay guys, so I agree with all this. I agree with everything Bungie have dropped here besides one thing. And that is matchmaking is disabled. Everything else I agree with. It should be this difficult. It should be this hard. Extinguish should be active. If we fail, we get returned to orbit. This is the sort of challenge I love to enter into. It's the sort of challenge I love to participate in with my team. But many, many people out there don't have a team. And if matchmaking is disabled, the very thing that made the Menagerie, in my opinion, one of the best PvP experiences added to the game so far, if matchmaking is disabled, it will just put many, many people off. It really will. Now, I can 100% guarantee you guys that a lot of people will complain, and rightly so, and this will be dropped. The power increase difficulty will be dropped sooner or later down the line. You mark my words. We've all seen it in the past. But disabling matchmaking isn't the right way of going about things. Bungie understand and I've commented many, many times on LFG searching and things like that. And for the most part, it isn't plain sailing. Many people don't like using LFG websites. Many people don't meet the requirements and expectations. Many of these LFG site groups state that they require. So disabling matchmaking, in my opinion, is a bad, bad thing. But everything else about this, I love the idea of. Now the rewards, I'm pretty sure we will see the swords added into this. I don't know if we will see an auto rifle, a pulse rifle, and any other missing weapon we have in the menagerie from here. I ain't sure about that. But only time will tell people. But yes, the heroic version of the menagerie comes on the 25th of June. With it, increased power level difficulty starting at 750 increases to 770 and matchmaking is disabled. Wow. But guys, those are my thoughts and the latest news surrounding the game. Tell me what you think about this down below within that comment section. I'm pretty sure most of you guys will agree with me on the fact that this should be challenging. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys will agree with me on the fact that matchmaking disabled isn't the right move. But on that note, we have come to the end. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really does help out. And hopefully, I will see you on that next one.